The concept of identity as a service, and especially authentication as a service, has been growing in popularity over the past few years, and through our work, we've had to personally evaluate, integrate, and even separate from several providers, so we'd like to share our thoughts about these services. In our last video, we talked about when authentication providers work well, so in this video, we'd like to talk about some of the reasons why you may not want to use them. I'm only talking about the B2C use case, not the enterprise SSO solutions. Because most service providers price based on the number of users or API invocations. As the number of users in your application grow, you will incur a larger and larger cost. This might be acceptable if all your users are revenue generating, but can be a substantial problem if you support a number of free users on your system. Though smaller applications can take advantage of very good, even free to your introductory rates, applications with large user bases can easily run a bill into the tens of thousands of dollars per year. Another issue is that a small change in price can result in a significant increase in costs, and sometimes they only let you know at the time of contract renegotiation. Perhaps one of the most significant concerns using these services is the risk of vendor lock. Many of these service providers make it very easy to sign up and integrate because they're leveraging on the fact that once you have an established customer base, business teams will be reluctant to move off due to the potential for disruption during the transition process. Many service providers do not have an easy mechanism to export data in an automated manner, and in many cases, the changeover will not be transparent to your end users. Authentication service providers will try and upsell you into using their proprietary security mechanisms or additional services by making you think your current security requirements are insufficient. Upselling itself is not the problem, but being exposed to upselling strategies is a risk for overspending. These service providers make it very easy to integrate with MFA, social media, and other integrations that your application may not really need. The problem is that you are convinced that the additional costs were justified in the name of security, but is that really true? FUD articles are all over the internet, and there will always be someone to tell you that your authentication mechanisms are not good enough. You really need to understand your security requirements and justify additional expenses. Many service providers allow for easy integration so long as you don't make too many customizations from their default flow. The moment you have customized requirements, the cost of such workarounds can outweigh any benefit gained. The ecosystem has changed over the past few years. There have been newcomers, mergers, and some have shut down. A vendor can decide to shut down, leaving you high and dry, and in the worst case, a sudden shutdown can result in no access to your data. API changes can cause your development team scrambling to make compatibility fixes. Providers can change the terms of services, and these changes may conflict with your corporate governance. Many service providers don't provide documentation regarding the architecture certifications or details of their systems. You may not pass audit if your organization requires these documents for security reviews on vendors. Many larger organizations require applications to undergo performance testing, but if you outsource your authentication to a third party, you will have to load tests against their live system. This is usually not permitted by most providers, and though I've seen people bypassing authentication for such tests, I don't recommend this since the login process is such a mission-critical feature. Many organizations require applications to pass through different test endpoints prior to production. Though some provide test endpoints, I've seen organizations having to pay for multiple accounts in order to fulfill their test environment needs. So hopefully I was able to show you certain situations where using authentication as a service is not your best bet. Don't get caught up in the fear mongering, it doesn't always make sense to use them and sometimes it's better and cheaper to build in-house. So check out this video on why it's sometimes better to use an authentication service provider. I'd like to hear your thoughts. How did working with Auth0 and other authentication platforms work out for you? Leave a comment below. And if you like this content, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.